habitat preference study is important because it allows us to determine if American eels prefer a specific habitat in Oakland Lake. It also allows us to determine growth rates from year to year because we started the project in 2009. It gives us a population estimate of the lake and because of the Elver project that we're doing in the outgoing stream from Oakland Lake, it allows us to determine how many Elvers are required to produce a certain population. Oakland Lake is a lake located in Mahone Bay and we chose that site because where it is a water supply to the town, um, no gas, no other pollutants enter the lake. They try to keep it as clean as possible. So we chose that lake because it is the closest that we can possibly get to a natural habitat of the eels. eels. So what we do is we have 29 eel pods set up in Oakland Lake and they're in different types of habitats, various types. That all depends on the depth, the slope, the amount of cobble, the type and the amount of vegetation, all sorts of stuff. And we use frozen herring for bait and every day we go out and check the traps but we do half the lake at a time. And then when we pull up the traps we see how many we eel eels we have in each trap and we put them in separate holding bags which are tied to the side of the boat. And then before we get too far away from the trap in which we catch the eels from, we go to shore and we anesthetize them using clove oil. And they become really drowsy. And then we take them out of the clove oil solution and we measure them and weigh them and we scan them to see if they have a pit tag that was injected in them from last year or from um, if we did it starting this season. And if they don't, then we inject a new tag in them and scan them. And from this, we can track their habitat preferences. Well, I'm packing my things in my van today Heading south to my country again Summer is coming because as I said not much is known about the American eels and they are a pretty decent fishery here in Atlantic Canada as well on the uh, Pacific Coast as well and we are working together with DFO to try to figure out whether the eel fishery is having an effect on their numbers on their predation rates on their growth and like on their hormones and stuff like that so if there is an effect they where they are under the uh, species at Risk Act as um, special concern, they are being assessed for that as well. So if the eel fishery is having an effect on them, they will be reassessed and possibly under a higher status. Yeah, 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 yeah.